Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marlo York and I got some exciting mail today. I finally got the proof copy for Trail of Flames, which is the second book in the Blood of Fire series. And it's right here. I haven't unboxed it yet, or unpackaged it, I guess I should say, because I wanted to wait and record this and record my reaction as it's happening. And I'm not really intending this to be like some crazy like unboxing video, but I think this is a pretty exciting thing. If you guys have been following along with my writing journey, you'll know that I recently uploaded the final manuscript and everything, cover and all and blah blah blah, to Amazon KDP, which is where I've been publishing my books through. And as of right now, the ebook version is available for pre-order on Kindle. Unfortunately, KDP doesn't allow for paperback pre-orders, which is kind of strange and unfortunate, but you can pre-order Trail of Flames now and it will be delivered on November 8th, 2019 straight to your Kindle device. And that's also when I intend to publish the paperback version, fingers crossed, because you can't schedule an exact time for the paperback to go live, but I'm going to try to have it available on the same day as the ebook comes out. I'm just going to start cutting this open. When I first published Blood of Fire, there wasn't an option, I believe, to order proof copies. I think that was a more recent thing, or I just didn't know what proof copies were and didn't know that I should order one. And I highly recommend doing so because when I first got Blood of Fire, I didn't realize that there were some small mistakes that were easier to notice in print. And I also didn't notice that there were a few formatting issues. So if I'd ordered a proof copy beforehand, I would have been able to catch those. So that's why I did it with Trail of Flames. No more gadding. Let's just crack it open. Now you want to leave the room? Hogan's in here with me. Hold, please. Okay. Here it is. Okay. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. So, there it is. This is the proof copy, the first official ever printed copy of Trail of Flames. And uh, other people who publish on KDP can probably sympathize with me a little bit because they always print this not for resale banner thing here. And it's not a sticker. Like, I can't take this off. It's on the cover, which is really annoying and it's really distracting, so you can't use these as um, ARC copies. Just ignore that and look at the cover. Okay, this is good to know, actually. So on the back cover, they're supposed to be uh, kind of like this. Here's Trail of Flames, where you can sort of see a little bit of outline of Valeria and some flames, but it's not showing up on the back of this. Can you see? There's like a very small hint of an axe right here. So that's something that I'll definitely want to bring up with the cover designer. And I'm not sure if it's just because this is a proof copy and maybe the like official release copies will look different, but that's definitely something to point out. And for some reason, the IBSN, what do you call it, number didn't print on the barcode. So I'm wondering if that's also because this is a proof copy and not an official release copy? Could be. I don't know. I've never seen a proof copy before. So if you're a fellow self-published author watching this, if you've ordered proof copies through Amazon, definitely let me know if that's normal for the color to be off and for there not to be an IBSN number on the barcode. It could just be because this is like not for resale, not for actual sale. But all in all, I'm just like comparing them. I would say it looks pretty dang good. I'm like scrutinizing everything. It is definitely a little bit dark but i think the front cover looks pretty good let's see them side by side can you guys can you guys see that and um, i'll definitely have to scrutinize this a little bit more off camera but i think the front looks really good and vibrant which is nice it's just the back is dark huh interesting okay well that's something to keep in mind and let's see the inside yep that looks like a book on the inside. Again, I'll have to like really scrutinize this a bit more off camera instead of just you guys sitting here watching me flip through a book. Uh, all things considered, it does look pretty dang good. So it really did help that I had, <laughs> I had the first book to use as a guinea pig. So when I first published this, I didn't know anything about the process really, except for what I'd heard from other people. So I was really in the dark. I could only use advice from other people. I didn't really know what it would 
be like and how it would look when it came out. So it was a lot easier having this as sort of like a prototype or what's the word? As an example to use when I was publishing this guy. But yeah, and it looks like they're about the same size. I think uh, Trail of Flames is slightly longer than Blood of Fire, but not by a lot. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's all I had to say today. I just really wanted to unbox this on camera and get some first impressions. All in all, I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to definitely get back to my cover designer about why the images on the back didn't show up. Maybe he needs to lighten that up a bit more. And I'm definitely going to go through and start reading this as soon as possible so that I can fix any other little mistakes or formatting issues or whatever that I find. Like I didn't do with the Blood of Fire and I felt really bad about that. So that's my project. That's why I've been holding off on reading any new books because I knew this was coming and was going to arrive pretty soon. So this is going to be my book to read and I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah. Thanks for watching this. It's definitely a much shorter video than usual, but th that's what I wanted to do today. <laughs> so I'm going to leave, as per usual, my social media links in the description, as well as a link to Blood of Fire and Trail of Flames. Um, right now it's just gonna be a pre-order link for Kindle. So if you want the Kindle version, you'll be able to pre-order that. But if you're waiting for a paperback version, you'll have to wait until November 8th at the earliest to get that. And as far as what else I'm doing in terms of writing, as like a writing update or whatever, I'm just going to go through, like I said, read Trail of Flames and see if there's anything that needs to be fixed, make sure everything is good to go. Prior to the actual release of Trail of Flames, I'm going to do a Kindle countdown deal for Blood of Fire, so you guys will be able to get Blood of Fire at a discounted rate. If you haven't read that yet and you want to read Trail of Flames, it would make sense to read the first one first because then you'll understand the story. I'll definitely announce that on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook first. I'm most active on Instagram, so that's the best place to follow me for like more recent updates and more daily stuff. I like to post to my stories pretty frequently, but I'll also have that on my Facebook page and Twitter when I announce that. I'm planning on the deal starting the week leading up to the release of Trail of Flames. I thought I heard someone knocking on the door. And right now I'm just focusing on Trail of Flames and I'm not going to worry about the third and final book in the series. This is going to be a trilogy as of right now. I'm just not going to worry about that too much. I'm, I've already started writing some scenes and uh, planning some things out for the third one, but I'm not going to worry about that until Trail of Flames has been released to the world in paperback and Kindle form. So then I only have one thing to stress about and I'll probably take a little bit of a writing break between the release and all the marketing and stuff and actually really diving into the third book because it's just important to give yourself a break every now and then. All right, so I guess that's all I had to say. So until next time, see ya.